people that work in or around PRN. What are some of your horror stories? I used to do production for a couple of PRN outfits. One of my PRN actors once had a scene with a girl who was heavily into body modification. She turned up on set with a line of fresh metal piercings screwed along her spine. They were oozing and not even close to healed. Despite this as there was a deadline to be met the scene went ahead. It was soon stopped as even the slightest movement on her part made them start bleeding and oozing pus. Worked with Ron Jeremy once. He has serious boundary issues and zero respect for his co-stars. We weren't shooting PRN. It was a regular interview in a public setting and afterwards while taking pictures. He grabbed a girl PRN star by the shoulder and completely exposed her breast to everyone. She shut him down. But you could tell she was humiliated as he kept trying to fondle her. My ex is the owner and male talent for a high-end massage PRN site. When I wasn't shooting for other companies I would go help on his set. One day we were shooting this girl and during hardcore stills, just sx for pictures before the real thing, she started bleeding slightly. She said he had just finished her period so they cleaned up and kept going. Everything seemed fine. Cut to halfway through the hardcore video. Reverse cowgirl. This girl starts coming. Pulls his dick out of her and starts gushing blood all over him. I've never seen so much blood before. She cups her hands under her trying to catch it but you can hear it with the contractions of her orgasm pushing it out like a waterfall. I'm still amazed he took it so well. He won't shoot girls on their periods anymore. These stories have kinda ruined PRN for me. For at least the next 2 hours or so. Friend did super low budget fetish PRN. Got pregnant in her first scene. Life ruined. Fun times. But by being pregnant she can do a different fetish. Diversify. Not exactly PRN industry but my friend was banging this guy who wanted to videotape it. He was, I later found out, kinda high up in Australian government. My friend was down for it if no faces were on camera. So. They were banging away. But my friend got soft and this dude. The dude was pretty pent up and gagging for it so pulled him out turned around and straight away started to suck him off. Problem was he didn't turn out to be very clean down there and was literally sucking his own shti off the dude's dick. He ran to the toilet. Gagged and vomited. Quite loudly. Then. All you could hear down the hallway was someone knocking on the bathroom door asking dad. Are you okay my friend took the condom off with the dude's pillowcase. Grab his shti and jumped out the bedroom window. He has no idea what has happened to the tape. As an Australian and a politics gossip junkie. The amount of money I would pay to know who this was is high enough to make my bank account wince. I used to do cam work. I had an Instagram strictly for networking. When I broke up with my crazy boyfriend. He got into my Instagram and posted my home address. This could have gone so. So wrong. Luckily. Most of my followers just called him an asshole and were super supportive. Not necessarily a horror story. But could have been very easily. This is a story from my friend who is a PRN director in Brazil. He got into some financial problems and had to take a few jobs he didn't usually do. Like filming beast chilty videos. The company picks him up and they drive a few hours outside of Sao Paulo to some farmhouse where they will film a horse having sx with a woman. The female performer was late so they waited and waited. Finally. She shows up and it's his, the director, girlfriend. He had no idea she was screwing horses and she had no idea he was filming them. He said. She manipulated the fight to make what he was doing worse than what she was doing. In Brazil. Your girlfriend cheats on you with horses and not humans? Bizarre. My ex was as a fetish model for extremely long nails. No. 100% that's not why we dated. Totally not my thing. She'd been doing cam work for a few years. And occasionally I'd shoot videos with her for random requests. Dirty souls. Tickling. Just random stuff. Some things led to other things and eventually I had dinner with her and my parents. Who proceed to ask her, in detail, about her nails. 
her work, clients, what it's like, etc. During this conversation, my father mentions my mother's foot fetish. Since that's appropriate to share with their daughter. Edit. But are you a craftsman or a George Foreman? I need to know to be able to properly set the scene in my head. I recently saw a video by Red Dead Redemption. Who used to be avid in PRN. She claims that guys will crash high school parties for potential new recruits. And sway them. Then start shooting days after they turn 18. That's not a horror story. F fucked is gonna have a lot of traffic tonight. Obligatory disclaimer. This is my friend who was a moderator on a phone SX line. He would try to keep guys from going into private chat with underage kids. Accidentally disconnect them. Or figure out reasons to boot creeps off. Tricky regarding the laws and also the policies of it being. In fact. A SX line. Hard to prove someone's age. Intentions. Etc. But sometimes it was his call to make. Note. He was as sorely abused as a child. Comma he got into that job because the pay was good and he has a great voice and was on their answering phone tree recording. He said that by the time he got home he couldn't stand to hear his partner talk dirty. Till if something smells when you are filming a PRN there's a lot of chance that something bad will come out of the girl's ass. We knew a girl who got caught up in the cam general craze. My husband and I have zero problem with SX workers. But we did gently warn this girl that people will ask you to do things that will be on the internet. Forever. Apostrophe. She gave us a speech about how it was none of our business and that she had dignity and wouldn't do anything that could impact future employment. Blah blah blah. Two weeks later. She was pissing in a bucket while fingering her ass. Because someone paid her $20. Edit. Obviously. There's more to the circumstances of the story than what I've boiled down into a small post on the net. So if you guys who are sending me messages telling me what I prude I am could kindly go fck yourselves, that would be great. It happens to the best of us. One day you're a Twitch streamer. The next you're fingering your fire tea bucket. I work for a dating site and our users are allowed to post pornographic content of themselves. A user posted a video involving a toilet brush being used in an anal gape. I was more impressed than horrified. Until I realized the potential damage this person was doing to their colon. Those Christian mingle folks are freaky. If they don't watch PRN while working. Is it SFW or NSFW? I saw Jimmy watching PRN during work. Asterisk. Yeah. Jimmy's in the research department. That's his job. I don't have a horror story. But a successful story. I dated a cam girl for a little over a year. Okay so she has an Amazon account. And it has a list of shti you can buy her and she will wear it on cam. Or she will use whatever toy. She was well known enough for guys to buy her these things. Well she moves in with me. I catch wind to this. And I have a brilliant idea. Why not put a grill on there? And some other useful household items. It worked. Lol I guess the idea I had never thought about is I used my address and the internet found out she was living with me and everyone complained on Fayo. But I got a free grill you fck heads. I used to work at a company that managed billing for a lot of PRN sites. Our sales guys would go to the PRN conventions. And wait until the end of the show in order to beg for whole boxes of swag. One year. For a couple of weeks after the AV ends. Anybody at our office who stuck their head up higher than a cubicle wall would get nailed with a flying foam boob. Eventually management managed to confiscate and destroy each boob and the workplace went back to normal. I used to perform on cam with a girl I used to date. She was one of the cam girls for a pretty well known cam site. Well while we were on one night we had a request to use some ping pong balls and see if she could shoot them across the room. One of the balls eventually became lodged deep in there and we ended the broadcast. Spent the next hour trying to get it out before having to go to the hospital and get it removed. One of the most embarrassing moments in the ER I've ever had. I spent 5 years in doing various things. Crazy models. 
They were dime a dozen. One stands out. She was older late 30s beautiful blonde women. Incredible body. But crazy. She calls running late day. Fine shows up on drugs. Bags under her eyes. We suggest rescheduling. She freaks out. Telling us we're paying her the shoot. We ask her to leave or we're going to call the cops. She threatens us saying I will say you forced me to be here the threats kept coming. We tell her hell well pay you just leave. We offer $250 by check, solo m sturbation scene. She gets pissed it's a check offer. I have no gas money or anything. Tells us she has to have cash. We refuse. Let her know we're done calling cops now. In the end she takes $10 cash for gas. Leaves before the cops come. Many more stories. I was doing one of those things where you come into a drinking glass. And the actress drinks it. But I come really massive loads. And she was really young and probably new. When saw how much she was going to have to drink. She started crying. The director seemed agitated. And told her to just leave if she wasn't going to do the scene. And she left. I felt really bad. And I had to squeeze the last little bit of come out. This one is hilarious. I've done some work in amateur looking productions. The company spent big money making it look as though it was all amateur productions. As we shot on site at a privately rented house the girls would often dash backwards and forth from the bathroom in between shoots to clean up etc. On one occasion I spotted something red and slimy on the tiles en route to the bathroom. After bending down and poking it I had the sudden realization what it was. I just poked a sliver of a girl's uterus which must have came out during her period after removing the sponge en route to the bathroom. Knowing she'd be absolutely mortified if anyone found it I did the only thing I could. I delicately scooped it up into my hand and ate it. This is what Reddit is all about. Weird f ked up shti like this. People that work in or around horror. What are some of your PRN stories? Or. I got too early. I'll just reserve my spot for the good stories. Artilus from adult stores. I'm constantly amazed by the breadth of subjects that have their own sub. Amazed and horrified. I'm gonna guess this question can be summarized by shti. Piss. Puke. Jizz. In various places. Quantities. And unexpectedness. Short story. But it'll most likely get drowned in comments. I work at a PRN shop. I recently took two months off of work for a workers comp. Case. First day back at work I caught a guy lubing up my favorite plunger and trying to stick it up his ass. It probably would have worked if he used the side that had the stick. Not the F king plunger. Edit. Workers comp case is relevant because my injury was PTSD from all the shti I've seen. First day I come back to seeing this shti and I just noped right out of there. Not in PRN but in Tibet military. Once I saw one guy come back from the fence with a smile on his face. I asked him what makes him so happy and he said that he had sex with a prostitute trough the fence. Now he have HIV. Bad choices kid. He was a casualty of WH re. I did PRN once. They gave me Viagra. Cause I was shy, it never worked. Until I commuted back, via train, it was uncomfortable to say the least. Don't think I've ever confessed to being in PRN. But I was in college and had bills to pay. Never done PRN again. Edit. Like to add was early 20s at the time. If you're in your young 20s. Don't take Viagra if IT doesn't work down there then it's not going to work Sunny Jim. Don't bother. My girlfriend does cam work for one of those sites. Sells panties. Whatever. Now and then I'll hop on with her and be cute for whomever is watching. We got a request for a show. She gave me 10 ways out if I didn't want to. But went ahead. Have you ever really looked at a penis? It's one thing in a PRNO. It's another on someone's blurry webcam. As a woman who hasn't slept with any dudes. It was just weird to see. Made me feel weird about mushrooms for a while. Not actually horror. But I certainly cemented something in myself that day. 
FQ the Tucker Max Butt SX story. Are you talking about Tucker tries anal? Hilarity does not ensue. The thread is an hour of age and I have already seen two tampon stories. One has been deleted. What's up with PRN actress and tampons? PRN involves Vginus. Tampons involve Vginus. I'd say the fact that some are SX slaves. Really disturbing to see the faces sometimes and just think she's not here because she wants to be. They say never work with children or animals. Never is that more true than when working in PRN. Stolen from Jimmy Carr film. I heard stories from high school about a parent in the business of recruiting for PRN. While there wasn't a lot of talent in the Midwest. He would go to parties and events and tempt young girls with a free flight and weekend in California. They just had to be 18 and willing to be on camera. I knew of a few girls who did it. But I never found any videos. One girl ended up pregnant and dropping out to raise the child at her parents. She was actually 15 at the time but had a fake ID. Last I heard she was still with her parents and the guy moved from California to help raise the child. Horror story with a much better ending. But it still rewrote her life. I want more disgusting tampon stories. Let me pull some strings and see what I can find out. Humans are disgusting man. I was just invited to my first orgy this weekend because I have professional recording equipment. I'll update if there are any interesting stories. So I was attending a PRN shoot with my friend. He does the filming, as I was curious about how it all worked and was somewhat considering joining the PRN industry. Well everything is going fine the guy is banging this chick real hard and apparently she had the flu that day and started to shti and vomit everywhere at the same time. Good hell just imagine a mixture of shti and vomit mixing together all over the nice white bed. I feel sorry for the poor bastard who lived there who rented it to them. And omg the fking smell was god awful. The runs and vomits do not make a great combination smell. It. No pee stars. Not yet at least. Edit. Yay some people who've done prn have answered now. The guy I know who draws fat furry PRN is bipolar and probably a bit retro dead. He uses his art to attract girls. Then proceeds to abuse them. Recently he took it as far as getting physically s sorely violent with one of them. And she posted about it online. That was a spectacular shti show. I shot a home movie with a friend who wanted to fck on camera. It was some nice cowgirl and to finish she blew me off. It was all going fine till she decided as an amateur hey why don't I take this guy's dick all the way down my throat. I'm no P run star maybe a touch above average so I didn't think it was a big deal but clearly neither was she because when while I was finishing her eyes started watering and it led to the biggest coughing fit I've ever seen. After she wiped her maroon eyes and had a minute to cool off she told me to come with her downstairs for a breezer. Her 15 year old brother was there playing just cause. She sneezed on him. She sneezed a fat rope of my jizz that had been resting in her sinuses all over him. I till date cannot look the boy in the eyes. Well I'm Molly Smash OBV. My horror story was that I was forced into PRN by my PRN manager. He was a pimp in FT. Lauderdale. He went to the DMV to watch me get my ID and sent me on a plane to NJ to shoot for facial abuse. The manager of facial abuse arped me afterwards and gave me money to stay quiet. I still don't have ownership of the video. My PRN manager spent about $100 a day to keep me drugged. I am running a PRN site and I've seen a lure of crazy PRN sites and clips for research. Just when you think you have seen it all. There is always this one video which is more extreme than the one before. There is always some extra shting. Puking and drinking to sum up the scenes. Asians can be really crazy goddamn it. Roommate in college did gay for pay PRN. He was always a bottom. Didn't do anything to crazy. He was younger looking. Usually just did older looking guys. I would go randomly with him to either take him. Didn't have a car BC of his parents. But he did have money. So it always confused me. 
The incident I am talking about now was his first time with a partner who had a huge dick. So the beginning was the most painful look I have have seen on a person's face. He looked like someone who was getting torn apart. It reminded me of when the alien burst through the person's chest in the movie. The entire thing lasted maybe 25 minutes. Of which he was bleeding somewhat. And practically crying the entire time. His chest and face were bright red and he looked like he had just lost a fight. He wobbled to the car. And couldn't stand up or walk for the next few days. The pay was really good. But I still don't think it was worth it.